you can find so much peace when you share with other people what you're currently going through. It's just super important to know that there's people there for you and that you're not alone. I grew up as basically a pastor's kid. My dad is a chaplain in the Navy, so we um, have moved quite often, pretty much every two to three years. Church for me, I was always there. Um, every Sunday with my family, it was such a big part of my life and my household, but um, it had always kind of felt like a chore for me because I didn't really get it. I just remember you know, hearing from other people and other kids my age about how much Jesus impacted them, and I was just always kind of thinking like, why don't I feel like that? The summer before seventh grade, my family and I moved to Hawaii. I entered like a really dark place in my life. It got to the point where I was just having a meltdown every day for months. Feelings of depression and just a lot of anxiety. I really just didn't want to tell people about how I was feeling, you know. It was just a lot of shame and I I thought that I was the only one feeling like that for some weird reason. I just thought that everyone else had it all together. All these other Christians knew what they were doing. I was really just by myself, didn't have a community. I was thinking, God, I've never felt so lost and hopeless, so why aren't you changing my situation? But it turns out that he wanted to change me, not what I was going through. The summer after ninth grade, came and my mom was like, so are you gonna go to camp this year? And I was like, no I'm not. And she said, yes you are. She signed me up and she made me go. I just remember thinking like, God, if you have something you want me to know, if you want to change my heart or tell me anything, I just pray that you do it now at this camp. So the first session we had, the pastor was saying that God just wants a relationship with you. He doesn't want your life to be perfect. He just wants your heart first. And then that is where your true relationship with Him starts. I just realized that I had the wrong idea the whole time. I just thought that God didn't want me. Um, when in reality, He had been chasing me the whole time, just waiting for me to realize that He was right there. Right after I had given my life to Jesus, I had to pack up and move to North Carolina, which was something I wasn't really excited about, but really that ended up being great. I, after about two weeks, um, I found renovation. My family and I started going, and God just really enabled me to feel so at home here so quickly, which is not at all what I expected. I heard about our squad pretty early on, and I just had a feeling that it was going to be where he gave me the community I'd been looking for all this time. At our squad, I get to talk to other students and especially the leaders about how I'm feeling or if I have questions or anything at all. I really just get so much more from that than I could on my own. You really can just open up and be as transparent as you need to without having to feel like you're uncomfortable or like you're out of place because I think the main goal of the leaders at our squad is to just make you feel loved and like you belong. So my walk with God now is definitely so much deeper. I'm currently serving on the worship team at Renovation. I play the piano and I can definitely say I've never felt closer to God than I do when I'm using my gifts to serve Him. And I definitely do not think I would be here without our squad. I think branching out and forming a community has really, really inspired me to continue living my life for Jesus and um, using what He's given me for being part of something that's way bigger than I am.